Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. It is Kate Richburg, and I am here for Free Tip Friday. Let's just make sure that everyone can see and hear me, and let's just get this show on the road here. Um, I'm just double checking that everybody can see and hear me because I had to reconnect all of our um, streams here. So just bear with me and let me know if you can um, see those um, or at least hear me uh, while I'm adjusting everything. So thanks for sticking with me here for just a second while I make sure that all of our streams and things are working. Looks like they are. Do I have some thumbs up from everybody just to make sure? Whoops, I, my second camera though is not there we go, is not um, cooperating here. So it looks like uh, that's good. I want to make sure that my Facebook stream is also working here, which I don't see let me know, you guys, if you can see that. I'm just going to go over to my Facebook and see if I can get it going here. Let me see if it's, if it's running. Let's see here. So thanks for bearing with me here while I... Uh, while I check that because I cannot see our Facebook feed. I can see you guys over on YouTube. Um, you can't see me yet, but you can hear me. <laughs> so let me just see if I can connect. Let's see, where is our Facebook going? So bear with me here just a moment while I make sure um, let's see let's try this bear with me bear with me here yep I believe we have just gone live over on Facebook so yep I see it here Thank you for bearing with me. Of course, there is always a little bit of a change when um, things update and stuff. So that's what happens. All right. Well, I am here now in three, two, and one. I have to. fade uh, in between the switcher or the switching of uh, views here. So it's going to be a little bit abrupt, but uh, I'll get that fixed um, a little bit later. But it looks like great. It looks like you guys can see me over on Facebook as well. So um, always exciting. Uh, as you guys know, who have been watching me for a while, you know that I am not only the talent in front of the camera, but I'm the IT behind the camera as well. So I just wanted to make sure that everything was working. So thank you guys so much as always for being patient. So today we have a fun project that I think you guys are really gonna love. Um, it's a project from uh, Drea. And I'm gonna adjust this camera over here just a little bit again before I think I can see those pretty well there we go um, before I show you Drea's project 
Um, and um, I think you guys are really going to love it. She has done some pieces that are really easy and fun to create with. Um, and they're convertible. So we're going to talk about how to use some clasps, how to make some, com some convertible necklaces. And so let me click over here and you guys can see I've got, I, I had them all laid out nicely, but of course my camera was, I'm going to try and lift that again a little bit. Always when we have to reset you guys, it's like starting from scratch again. So excuse me while I adjust this camera a little bit. There we go. And I think you guys can maybe see that a little bit better. There we go, the full view of them. And I'm going to move this background up just a little bit to get all of those into focus. I'm going to move them around anyway. My workbench is going to look all kinds of crazy and messy in about two shakes anyway, so uh, so that'll be good for now. Um, okay, so uh, here's these pieces, and yes, for those of you who are sad that Drea is not on with us today, she prefers to remain behind the scenes, so, uh, so I'll be interpreting her project for her today, but I I think I'll do it some justice, and I've got some fun ideas for you guys to play around with. This camera still isn't where I want it, so I'm sorry everybody. You're just going to have to bear with me while I fix it, because I just, I can't stand a wonky, a wonky, there we go, there we go, a wonky view. So, there it is. So Drea has been using some really fun, um, delicate chains that we're going to look at. And you guys can see she has two projects <clears throat> that have three, um, three different um, components, I guess, to them, you could say. And one is entitled Valkyrie, and one is entitled Luna. And they're made up of three different component parts um, that, uh, there we go, I'm going to show you the bottoms of them here, that all connect onto one clasp. Okay, so this is a great project for layering. And as you know, here at Bead Shop, we're all about layering our necklaces. So these are a lot of fun to layer, okay? And so um, I'm going to put one on a, on a neck so you guys can see how it looks layered. And then we're going to jump in and we're going to look uh, at some finer chain or some, some um, what do I want to say, more delicate chain maybe, okay? And so the whole um, idea behind this layering is, is this clasp and this configuration that Drea created. And you can see if I hold it up to you, you can see it pretty well. Um, this is our Clio clasp that has three loops to it. So you can use several different, uh, we have some different clasps in those different configurations. So you don't have to do just three strands. We have them uh, in the gold, we have it in just the two, but we have it in three, four, and five. And so here is, I did a four strander as well. So it just depends on how many layers you wanna add, okay? So, um, the project begins with this clasp, our Clio clasp, okay, with the three strands. And you can see that on one side we've added the little lobster claws right there. And on the other side we've added these oval jump rings, okay? So I want to show you how they actually work first 
And then we're going to work through some of the stuff. Of course, it's already falling on the floor. Some of the stuff I've got here on the table um, in front of me. Okay? So I'm going to grab this neck, <clears throat> and I'm going to see. Uh, I'm going to put them on the neck as well. But first, let's go ahead and add these pieces on. So the first piece that Drea has, <clears throat> she uses the uh, Simplicity chain, I believe. And she's wire wrapped this little component using um, the semi-precious rondelles in Labradorite. Okay, so this one I believe is the shortest. <clears throat> and so you can see she's created and connected the oval clasp, the oval jump ring to the clasp. Okay, and the oval jump ring is nice, and you can see when I connect it. The oval is nice uh, for this project, especially since the opening in the oval. Can you see that? The opening in the oval is on the side, and so it's a really sturdy connection because it has um, a lesser tendency to open up and pull out with these oval rings. So now <clears throat> I'm going to come in and I'm going to open up the um, lobster claw that's on the other side. So see here how the lobster, how the loop, so you could wear these just as necklaces, right? Because the lobster is on one side of the necklace and the loop is on the other. And then on the clasp, the ring is on one side and the lobster is on the other. And can you see how this is, how all of these lobster claws right here they're all connected with those ovals, okay? So let's connect the second one, and I think the second one <clears throat> is this one, uh, this little bit of a heftier one on the chain, the uh, smooth sailing chain here. So I'm gonna connect it to the middle oval on this side and then we're gonna bring it around. And you could, on this smooth sailing chain, you could add a smaller jump ring, but the chain has such a nice big opening here, okay, that um, you can just attach it right to that lobster claw, okay? So we've got two on there. Can you see the back of that? So we've got our two, okay? So now <clears throat> let's put our third one on, and that's this long one using the Figaro chain, which is very pretty. You can open this up and see how Drea did with the Figaro. It's kind of caught here. The Figaro has these wire wrapped components and she ended with the wire wrap component to a jump ring. So there's movement there, okay? So these, this is the side that has all of the little lobsters. And then on this side, we'll do the final connection right here and attach that one to that. So you can see all of these are fitting. Okay, so I'm going to move the camera to the front again and let me see if I can get you this front view. Uh, let me get this neck here and I'm going to put the camera down just a little so you guys can see this and then I'll lift it. So bear with me here just a second. So you can see here, I'm going to put this around the neck and I'm going to make sure that the short one is on top and then I'll lift it up and I'll show you the back and the front. So it's a little hot, a little bit of a hot glare on there, but I think you can see this pretty well, how these all um, lay just like so. And on the back of the neck, you can see 
how I'm going to get a little further over so you can see it how those sit really nice and neat okay really nice and neat so I think it's a really pretty way to be able to layer now you can mix these they don't have to be chain right you could do a beaded component um, with this and have loops on the end and connect them with this with this chain um, with that clasp as well so I think it looks pretty nice let me go back to our table here though okay and let's take a look of course now this is a big old mess so <laughs> let's take a look at some of the chains and how we might put this stuff together okay so let me get a little closer into this, okay? And so you can see, and Mimi was asking, and Mimi, maybe you missed this um, on the first go round, but each necklace um, you can wear on its own because the necklace itself has a lobster claw on one end and a loop on the other, right? Like this. But when you go ahead, and I'm going to add one here's to this necklace here, let's go ahead and add it. We add, we're just consistent with how we add it, right? And so we know we're going to add the lobster claws on this end, the opposite end. And we're going to add the ovals. Let me move this up a little bit so you guys can see it. Okay. And I'm going to add these ovals on that end, and we're going to need three ovals to connect those, okay? So, yeah, we move kind of fast around here, so sometimes it's easy to miss. So here, so to put this um, component together, it's pretty easy. And again, you could use this for all kinds of things, right? Um, again, necklaces, you know, beaded necklaces that just have loops on the ends, you know, like this, you know, that have a loop and a lobster. But let's go ahead and get that oval ring and we're going to connect it, okay? So yeah, as Drea is saying over in the chat, each necklace is a complete necklace, right? It's just that this component is available to make these complete necklaces into easy layering pieces. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this oval, open it up to the side, and I want all of my lobster claws, you guys, on this piece to be facing the same direction. Okay, that's the only thing that I really want to make sure that happens. So I'm going to grab it, close it up, and make sure it's nice and closed. Okay, so there's one. Let's make sure, again, I'm going to lay my lobster claws out so that they're going the right direction. And these are our little lobsters that we carry. Okay. Um, and this triple strand, yeah, it can also add as an extension, like you could put a little chain extender, like if you wanted to extend, this is the shortest necklace, if you wanted to extend this a little bit longer, you could just put a little bit of extension chain on one side or whatever, right, to do, to do it that way. So there's a lot of ways that you can, whoops, that you can connect or use this component, um, to change up your necklaces. And you know, whoops, I don't want to close it until I put that lobster on there. So I'm going to put the lobster on, making sure it's facing. I just want them facing all the same way. So when I'm taking them on and off, I have that muscle memory in my hands. I didn't open this quite wide enough. So let me do that. Go off there. Open this up a little bit more. There we go and slide that sucker on there we go and close it up 
And again, the ovals, since they have a nice, um, that slit on the side, they're much less likely to pull apart, okay? And then <clears throat> this opens. Slide that on so you can attach it to the clasp first or the bigger clasp, the lobster or the Cleo clasp. There we go. Okay. There we have it. All right, then let's connect the other side. And we're just going to do the loops. So this opens. You can scoop it right up and close. There's one. And these make great gifts in and of themselves, right? So that people um, can use their own pieces to, because, you know, most necklaces, right, have a clasp on it. So you clasp the lobster claw end to the loop side of your piece and whatever clasp you have will attach to the oval side, okay, or the loop side. So there you have it. And I think these look really nice with Drea's fine chain choices that she made. I'm gonna get a little, um, a little bigger here. Okay, and these are all listed under our Beads of Wisdom project. So here's the, and I'll just go ahead and connect these. Here's the smallest. And this is also a great way to mix your metals, right? And then here's the, this side here. Let me get a little closer to my face here so I can see it. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. You know how it is sometimes when you're, there we go. I'm gonna connect that one. There we go. That one's connected. And then let me see if I have, and it looks neat in the back, right? With all of, with the lobsters, right? They match, they look good. I'm trying to see if I have just a random necklace here that has nothing to do with Drea's piece that I could connect. Um, let me see if I do. I may or may not. Um, I'm looking, I'm looking. I have so many things on the wall, but I don't have anything that's appropriate, I don't think. Oh, well. But you can look in your stash, right? In your necklace stash, for sure, and see, uh, and see what works for you. Let's see, what's this one? Yeah, that's too big. That's not gonna work. Oh well, it was a good it was a good thought while it lasted. Well actually, look at this. This is one that Janice did a while back, right? And it has a different size loop on it right but I don't know and it doesn't match at all but I just want to see if this swivel fits into that yeah see and then this is one of Janice's pieces that she did pearl knotting or you know one of her floats I'm gonna take off this oh no I don't well I'm going to I think I'm gonna take off this connection here this charm don't worry I'll put it back on later I promise but it's a way I just want to see how it would hang 
before I complete Drea's piece. Because this is a cool way of connecting. Let me see if I can get this one up there. It's a cool way of connecting um, something that's on thread. All right, let me get a little closer here. And then this here. Could attach and let's see if I lay that out so see that how that and let me let me um, of course it's kind of the different colors and stuff but let me get in kind of tight so you can see this okay see how when Janice made this float necklace she did the float and these are end tips that are connected to a ring. Well, that ring simply goes into that lobster and then she used a swivel lobster, but you could change this out for a lobster that looks like this guy, right? So it matches, right? And then um, let me put, since we're going for different metal mixing, let me go with this one that Drea did, this longest one that's down here with the Figaro. Okay. And connect this one here. So it just shows how you can kind of look at your necklace wardrobe and layer with it. Because sometimes when we do layers with our necklaces, they can get a little tangled and stuff, right? But this is a way to kind of keep them orderly. Come on. And get in there with that loop. Andrea was saying that she puts this on in front so she can see it. I can see it, but I can't even quite get it on. There we go how she can put it on and um, put it on in front, right? And then she rotates it around, okay? So you can see these are all different on this connection. Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna move this back to the front view and let's just see how this kind of mixed up one, this random one that I found of JP's looks together. So let me go here. Here's that float, and you can see, again, the color, it's a little blown out, there we go. Let me fix this, fix it all up, and this long one. So can you see that, how the float is here? That chain one is here, and that silver one is here, right? So you can, um, you know, play, and again, the back looks nice and neat. Look at how nice that looks. And this was, again, just that random float that Janice did. So let me put it, let me lay this out here so you guys can kind of see it. Let me go up here with the camera. And you guys can see that, okay? So again, it looks kind of fun, right? Long, short. You could also see with this multiple strand, see how the loop on this float that Janice made has two strands connected to it, okay? So you could do that. You could connect a couple of different strands to one jump ring, and then that jump ring will just, um, We'll just do this. Oh, Andrea's saying, no, she just does it. Um, she attaches everything to the component. Oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. Of course, Drea. You put everything on just like I'm doing now. <laughs> and then the beauty of it is the clasp opens. Of course. <laughs> of course, that's the way it works, Drea. Of course. So see that you put them all so you don't have to fiddle with them. That's the whole point of this. And then you just open and close the clasp to put it on. Super smart. Right? I'm so busy designing in my head. 
I'm not thinking about the end product. Okay. And so this is nice. It's nice and delicate, but it has a very um, kind of cool look. Um, and then this, the drop that Janice did, you could put this, remember how we were talking about adding things to um, another um, lobster claw, and then she could hang that off, let me move that a little bit, so she could hang this lobster claw off um, anywhere that she just wants to add it, right? And so she'd just have to get maybe the maybe the bigger swivel or something and attach it there or attach it to the chain or whatever. So it's ultimate in convertible. But look at how look at how pretty this this looks like this, right? To mix it up. Um, and I love the mixing of the colors. But let's put Drea's gold one together. So it's done. So I'm gonna take this off. I'll take this off. I'll take this off. But I love to layer. I love to layer necklaces. I love to layer, um, you know, all of these kinds of fun pieces. So let's get this. And again, this is just one of Janice's <clears throat> simple classic float necklaces. And it was made, this goes in the front. So this was made to actually sit this way. But there's no reason why you can't turn it around and use this as the back. I'm going to go ahead so I don't lose this pretty little piece. I'm going to go ahead and connect it <clears throat> back together. Open this up. <clears throat> Attach that back on. And close it. And you can see this is how that connects. Okay, so now it's like it never happened. We're, we're back we're back in business with this. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one away and let's put all of the gold pieces <clears throat> on this gold, this gold one. And then I wanna show you a couple of ways to connect. I've got some different chains beyond, I kind of have to hold this a little closer to my eyes. Sorry about that, but I pulled it out of the camera range. But I'm gonna put this one back on the silver so we're good to go with this. And I feel like the lobster claws are a little bit easier to connect, <clears throat> a little bit easier to hold on to. So now this one's back intact. And I'm going to connect the, the gold right here. This middle one was this one that had the smooth sailing chain. And again, the smooth sailing just connected right to the chain itself. So there's that one. And I'll bring it around. I would like to see a nice strand of knotted pearls with just this closure. It would um, layer right really well right into there but if you guys have been watching my personal Instagram you know that I've been all about stringing pearls these past couple of weeks so here's this one and it is a good thing see you can just connect them there and as Drea so pointed out you don't put this on in the back of your neck you put it on where you can see it and then you open and close the big clasp like this to put it to take it on and off. Okay, like that. So there's the gold one is finished. Okay. So this is going to be really this is beautiful too, and really um, I think uh, great for holiday time and and beyond. Um, but I've got some other necklaces that I wanted to show you guys, or other chains from our stash um, that this worked out really well with. Um, so let me put those, let me take those over there. And I've got some jump rings. I thought I had some 
lobster claws in copper here. I thought I did. I don't know what happened to them. But I used the um, the Clio clasp in copper. So you'll just have to work with me on this. I could have sworn I grabbed the, the lobsters in antique copper, but that's okay. You've seen how the lobsters work. But I just wanted to show you these chains um, that are also, I think, really, really pretty um, for these. I've got this. I need to get these apart. There we go. So let me show you what's here. I have the Figaro that Drea used. I have the Simplicity that she used. I also grabbed the box car because I feel like this chain doesn't always get used because people don't know how to put the end on it, right? So I want to show you that. That might be a little close. Let me widen that up a little bit. And then I grabbed the trio. The trio is a nice, great layering chain. This one is little keyhole, I think, is what that one is. And then I grabbed the small paper clip. Okay, so now the small paper clip chain, I, I love all of these, right? How, how these would work together. And so you can use, you can connect these if you want, like if you wanted to connect multiple chains together. I'm going to grab a copper jump ring here. And I think I want it in, I think maybe I just want the oval one. So let's say that there are two, four, six chains here, right? And maybe we wanted to do six chains from three, from this three strand clasp, okay? And I'm just going to use, I have the gold um, lobsters here. Obviously, I'd be using a copper lobster, but we're just going to go with that. So there's a couple of things that you can do, right? I could get my jump ring, my oval jump ring, right? Open it up. and just add two of the lengths of chain. And I want to, I would cut those others away, but I would put it through the big link in the Figaro, right? And then I would add my link on the simplicity at the end. Come on, like so, okay? And then I would add my clasp onto that, okay, if you wanted, or I'll show you another way to do it. Let me close this up, okay? So that's this, that would create two closures there, right? And it would just be a loop on the other side, okay? Let's say that you wanted to connect these two, okay? The loop on this trio is pretty small. So you could use the three millimeter jump ring, but you're getting kind of small in that, right? So what I would do is I would make a little tiny wire wrapped loop out of this 24 gauge, okay? And I get that trio and I'll show you kind of up close. See how that trio connects onto there? And then I check this boxcar. Now boxcar chain, is made up of little tiny boxes that are linked 
Can you see that? That are linked together. It's kind of hard to um, get a closure in there, but when we cut it, there's a little residue of chain. Can you see that left in there? So what I do is I take it out of that link and you can see there's a pretty good opening there. <clears throat> and I could just come in and slide that box car. Can you see how that goes to the wire wrap? Okay. Then I'd wire wrap this closed. Very carefully. But you really have to make sure with the box car that um, you've taken that little tiny piece of cut chain out of the loop. And you could use, like Drea used, the three millimeter, three to four millimeter, sorry, I'm out of camera range, three to four millimeter rondelle. Or I've got a three millimeter bead sitting here left over from that ornament I did, the um, holiday ornament. But we've got some great three millimeter like glass strands that you could use instead, right? The zircon, that eggplant, this is the garnet color. You could also use, I pulled some of the gemstone three millimeter rondelles, the chocolate moonstone, the garnet, this one's a little bit bigger, the peacock, right? And then you could just wire wrap this sucker. Like so. And then, whoops, this would need a, before I wire wrap it close, since I'm doing the toggle, I mean the, the um, lobster claw side, we need to actually add the lobster claw, though I could add it with a ring, but I don't think I want to. I think I just want to wire wrap that in there. So I'd add this on. Obviously, again, it would be copper, not this matte gold, but this is just for demonstration purposes only. And I'd hold that, sorry, right in on the loop. And I'd wire wrap this closed. I'll move the plier in just a second so you can see what that looks like. So this is kind of an all-encompassing wrap right now I need to oops, sorry about that bend this wire right in there okay so here's my other two so I've got two there and two there on the other side obviously I could come around right and the loop side would be on this side right so now I've got two more to connect okay and these look like they would simply just connect with the jump ring, but let me see if it will work. The paper clip chain, the fine paper clip chain makes a great layering chain. So let me put that one in there. Yep, it goes in just fine. This one goes in there just fine into that four millimeter oval. And whoops, I need to connect the, put the clasp in as well, trying to make sure that we're going to make sure all those clasps are facing the same way. Close it up using my straight chain nose plier and my bent chain. So you can see I have six chains added here. So now let's add the loops on this side to the clasp. 
So if you wanted to have some of these that would mix like with beaded strands, I think that would look really nice. So there's one. Really make sure it's closed though. Don't be cavalier about this because these fine jump rings, especially these ovals, they stay closed, but you need to make sure as you're opening and closing them that you are closing them from all angles from the top and the bottom and from side to side. So there's that one. And now here is this one. And close it. So now when you connect these guys, and maybe it's not so bad that these are gold because you can kind of see them how they connect. I want to connect them all in the same direction so they it's a quibble but I, I want to make sure that they look you know they don't look all over the place so it's going to go down there there's the second one and let's do this third one so it's a great way to kind of make thinner chains look a little more um you know a little bigger, a little bunchier or whatever. So see how these are all connected. So if I were to, these are all still connected to the spool, but if I were to wear these, they would all kind of drape. And you don't even have to add, God forbid, you don't have to add any beads if you don't want to, right? There we go. Okay. Look at that. You could also, everything comes around, you could have like a big pendant that you have, I don't know, wire wrapped or like one of the tassels that we've been making, right? But look at how pretty just this mixture of all of these chains look together. Um, here we go. Here, look at this right here. I'm going to take this, let me take this apart real quick, real quick like. This is a piece off of, I think, one of the pieces that Ali Mori made, right? So it's a charm that's on, from one of her wraps, but I could connect this around a couple of chains or in like that paper clip chain. Right, so it would pull that one down and have, you guys can't really see that. Let me arrange this and let me move the camera a little bit wider, right? But wouldn't that be cool? Again, you could also string a strand of beads to throw in there right <clears throat> so however however you want to do it but I love just the lusciousness of all of these chains together and we sell the chain <clears throat> and it would make a great bracelet my mom is saying look at how beautiful that would look as a bracelet um, but see here you could kind of hard to see if I pull it up, but you could make them varying lengths and stuff too. I think it would be really pretty. But it also keeps it from tangling because you've got each of these two strings strands together. Right, so it's easy. Um, so that's that story. I'm sticking to it. So I hope this has given you guys, I want to lay this out one more time so you can kind of see it. I hope this has given you guys some ideas. I didn't even get into like the different, um, let me take this charm off. And you could use things like this, the London blue. Look at how pretty that looks. 
and then wire wrap, maybe even in the paper clip. Those are the Hessenite cubes that look really nice. You could introduce another color, that um, lapis color. I could use also get some of the garnets in there. Let me get a little closer so you guys can see that. There we go. Right? Really easy. Really easy. I think that would be fun. And the the wire I would use, you guys, for all of this is I'd use 26 gauge because the 26 gauge will fit all of these um, all of these semi-precious briolets and stuff. Right? So I think that's pretty. I think this is really um, a pretty way to kind of convert do convertible things I think um, I like all I you know me I like like Drea has a little more of a minimal um, aesthetic which is great um, you know me I like to sometimes put everything including the kitchen sink in my pieces so I think it's really adaptable to your own personal um, aesthetic and these skinny chains sometimes and I'll be honest sometimes I'm stumped I'm like yeah I'm gonna go with the heavy chains but putting all of these kind of slimmer chains together um, gives you kind of that um, bunchy look I don't know if that's the right word but it's also um, you know you can tone it up or tone it down I like it and again, each of these would be wearable individually because each of these pairs would have a loop on the other end, okay? But they would also go right into this clasp, okay? So that should do it. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, the projects, and I know that some of you are kind of new to watching us, but you can find all of our social, um, find lots of ways to follow us on our social media, including our Instagram at beadshop.com. And of course, uh, on our Facebook group called The Bead Table. And that has a lot of uh, fun ideas and people post their projects and it's super inspirational so if you'd like to join us over there just search out the bead table there you can also find us i don't have it on the screen i need to update it um our blog is also called the bead table so if you search bead table blog or if you go to the home page of beadshop.com uh, you could find uh, our blog, which has so much great information going back years and years and years. Um, and of course, you can watch us right on our Facebook, I'm sorry, our YouTube channel. Um, if you subscribe uh, to beadshop.com, you will get, um, you'll get uh, all of those, um, what do I want to say? Uh, notifications when we go live and when we post new things. I think there was a quick question, so I'll go back to this one and just let you know what these are. This is the Hessenite garnet here. The um, lapis cube. These are um, the, uh, I think these are the London blue um, drops here, the, the briolettes. Um, and I also mentioned the lapis. We've got the paperclip chain, uh, the little keyhole, the boxcar, the trio, the figaro, and the simplicity here. Okay, and you can see uh, all of these. The cool thing that Drea has been doing on our projects is that there's a recipe right there. So if you go right to beadshop.com, you can find the information on the project and the products from this broadcast. 
Uh, you can uh, shop the recipe there uh, to choose your own adventure, as we like to say, um, with your own colors and ideas. Um, you can also, of course, sign up for our newsletter to get information on all of the latest projects and products from beadshop.com. And of course, don't forget to sign up for our newsletter. That is the best way that we communicate with you on what is going on. Um, you can find all of the briolettes and gem cubes on the front page of beadshop.com right now. If you click on the box that says treasure collection, you'll see all of those there. Okay. Um, there's also um, links to our chain and all of that kind of stuff there as well. All right. Well, I'm going to sign off today for this Friday. Um, I hope that you guys got a good infusion of creativity. Drea, this was a fantastic project and thank you so much for sharing it with all of us. It was a lot of fun to make um, and to create with. Uh, next week on Wednesday, we'll have Krista in the house. We have a beautiful, uh, her take on poetry, which is going to be uh, amazing. The poetry project is really fun and I think this is a really um, fun one for you guys to work with. So that's my story everybody. Have a fantastic and creative and safe weekend. Please remember to continue masking, to continue to social distance. Um, it was really exciting to see people get the first of these coronavirus vaccines out into the world. Um, that is really the light at the end of the tunnel. So we just have to hunker down and make sure um, that we're doing everything to stay as healthy as we can because soon we will be able to um, be together again if everybody does what they're supposed to do. And Drea also wanted to remind everyone that don't forget clasps on sale today. Today is live December 18th. Clasps are marked down 10% on our website, which means when they're marked down on our website, you can stack them with our website discounts or with your VIB, very important beater points as well. So that's my story, kids. I'm sticking to it. I will see you next Wednesday for another installation of Bead Shop Live with our Krista. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic weekend. Stay safe, and I'll talk to you soon.